Hello YouTube and welcome to the Awesome Blackness channel, or ABC for short. My name is Mighty, and on this platform, I'm going to explore the awesomeness of our black people. That's right, whether you're big or small, celebrity or civilian, anywhere in the world, if you're awesome, you're featured here. And it's time to drop another nugget. Anyone who is a fan of the Batman series understands all too well the importance of one Lucius Fox with his high level of strategic intelligence which as an aside and on another level the animal itself demonstrates similar characteristics. Fox is the man who essentially helps bring Wayne Enterprises from the brink of ruin and also develops all the high grade militaristic tech Bruce Wayne uses in his quest of clandestine vigilantism. In the game of chess, rooks are considered major pieces, just below a queen in fact, as far as importance and lethality goes. Thus, if Bruce the bat is the knight, then Lucius the fox would indeed be the rook. Created by Lynn Ween and John Calman, Fox first appeared in Batman number 307 in January 1979. Since then, this iconic character's appearance has transcended the comic pages, portrayed by, among others, Brock Peters in Batman the Animated Series, Mel Winkland in The New Batman Adventures, Louis Gossett Jr. in The Batman, Phil Lamar in DC Superhero Girls, Kevin Michael Richardson in Batman Gotham Knight, Ernie Hudson in Batman Bad Blood, Dave Fenoy in the video games Batman Arkham Knight and the Telltale series. For the first time in live action by Morgan Freeman in the Dark Knight trilogy, then by Chris Chalk in the television series Gotham, and in the upcoming season of the television series Pennyworth, courtesy of Simon Manyanda Pennyworth. Wow, is everybody getting an origin story now? I just can't wait until he gets his. Now what I appreciate about this character and of those who depicted him over the years is that unlike the caped crusader and even his biggest adversary, there seems to be less of an expectation of who fills the role, great aforementioned talent notwithstanding, as the character itself seems to be like a bespoke suit that looks good on anyone who dons it, thereby concurrently requiring a high standard but also no standard, i.e. just come in and crush it, it's super easy. I could go on on this point alone, but let's get back to the man himself. As is the case with many characters in comics that develop over time, there are alternate versions of Lucius' story, some of which cast him as a villain. However, if sticking to canon, Fox is an experienced businessman, entrepreneur, and inventor who is CEO and president of Wayne Enterprises and the Wayne Foundation. Suffice to say, he serves as one of Bruce's allies who, however, unknowingly runs the business interest that supplies weapons, gadgets, vehicles, and armor for the billionaire to use when he fights crime as the vigilante. Fox is depicted as eventually coming to realize this truth, but assuming a measure of plausible deniability in the interest of the forward-facing businesses and charities. In other iterations, Fox is also husband and father to three, possibly four, children. His daughter Tiffany, introduced way back with Fox's inception in 1979, would eventually be developed into his successor as CEO of Wayne Enterprises. In the New 52 universe though, she becomes Barbara Gordon's protege as one of several women to use the Batgirl moniker. Then there's younger daughter Tam, introduced 30 years later in Red Robin number 3, who is dispatched by Bruce Wayne to search for Tim Drake. Speaking of Tim, there's also prodigal son, Tim Fox, who was also introduced in Fox's inception. After living a life of crime, Tim sees the error of his ways and begins a course of reconciliation with his father. And in the new 52 continuity, he has a son named Lucas, which I'm calling a side baby, who is an intellectual prodigy and MMA enthusiast, who, unbeknownst to his father, was selected and trained by Bruce Wayne to become the vigilante known as Batwing, using a high-tech Batsuit designed by Fox. An astounding family to say the least, which is why what makes him awesome is apparent. As mentioned, if so, there is a Dark Knight, so also there is a Rook Blackamoor. 
I know, I know. It takes a while to roll off the tongue. Uh, Blackamore Rook. Blackamore Rook. Rook Blackamore. All right, we're going to go with that. But it works after a while. Co-opted into a screen name before I do. But for real, Lucius is a quintessential supporting character. Not only that, his efforts never seem to go unnoticed, nor is he undervalued or underappreciated. Never have I seen such a dynamic where a man with power and privilege like Wayne give reverence, respect, and consideration of wisdom to someone who historically lacked both without it appearing like contrite kowtowing. Similarly, and on a macro level, nor have I seen a minority character ever depicted in such a way with class and intelligence that itself didn't come off as pandering to the reader. You know, I haven't gone as deep into the lore behind the creation of Fox, but I get the impression that Ween and Kalnan didn't set out to make a black character who happens to be awesome. They just made an awesome character who happens to be black. Okay, so thanks for watching. So I planned on taking a small, which oftentimes turns into a biggie small, break like I normally do between videos before even thinking about who was next up. But the seed was planted in the editing phase of the last video. And so I was off to work on a thumbnail and a script as this was rendering for upload. <laughs> Essentially born from a throwaway line where I had mentioned that voice actor for Daisy Fitzroy, Kimberly Brooks, had also voiced Batgirl in the 2013 fighting game from NetherRealm Studios, Injustice, Gods Among Us. It was from there that I knew for who my next video had to be. I mean, it was a no-brainer. Well, in their case, a big brainer. And it all came together when the video's title appeared in my mind's eye just as serendipitously as the rest. I put up a post as to the significance of this moniker, which is essentially a play on Batman's The Dark Knight. Of course, once you start the research though, you'll see how it hit different. Just keeping it all super meta around here. <laughs> you know, this video also serves as a good transition for the next subject that I'm excited to get to. Well, after a biggie small break, which will be part of a much larger collaborative effort. In the meantime, if you like what you've seen, keep the love coming the best way you know how by liking and sharing. Get more people to like, share, subscribe, and click that notification bell so you know when I drop another nugget. And until then, stay awesome.